Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower, my loves. I hope I'm finding you well. Just getting your messages from Spirit for the reading. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can always book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. Initial spark. There is potential in a person or a situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you. Ooh, I'm going to take that one too. Let's put these over here and get into it. See what you guys need to know for this week. My sexy Scorpios. I'm wishing you many blessings with this full moon coming. How are you doing through the retrograde? I hope okay. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support for my channel. You guys rock. If you like Forever Rose, which you see me promoting all the time, New York, that is also linked down in the description. They come in every style. Yes, they are real roses. And they last forever. So please go check those out. I even want their Halloween ones. I think I'm going to get those next. All right, so what does Scorpio need to know and love this week? What's coming up for my babies? Oh, we got Future Focus insecurities and a twin flame wow at the bottom we got separation and a great source of power and someone feels like time is ticking i'm trying to be patient i want you to return and i want to return to you being apart from you feels like eternity whoa okay well of course it's a scorpio so <laughs> it says someone runs away honeymoon phase ends insecurities mm. And attachment issues begin to appear, causing a rift in the relationship with a great source of power, the dream team of change. Reunion creates exponential growth, highly influential in agents of change. So they might feel like this could have been the two of you, but I feel like this is the relationship you're moving towards, Scorpio, because you're future focused at this time, for sure. And maybe someone was too insecure for you. Or maybe you felt this way about the person and how they were approaching. So it says, I'm devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. And then it says, unsure of who and where they are in life. Wears a mask to hide their feelings in fear of rejection. Constantly covers up who they are in fear of what others may think of them. And then we have, I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken, but it is one that must be balanced in order to move forward together. So maybe some of you are already in a standing relationship as well. And this person is just waking up to this and letting their securities fall, insecurities fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Now I see why we had the initial spark. There's potential in a situation to develop into something more in the future. Let's clarify. What is future focus for Scorpio and the person coming towards them? It says protection, cautious, guarded, apprehensive, hard to open up, and pregnancy, building a family, children, birthing something. So you're birthing a new um, beginning for yourself right now, and you're apprehensive towards any kind of connections at this time. You really just want to focus on yourself. Maybe this person was hard to opening up about building a family with you or they didn't have their priorities straight as well. What's insecurities? Let's move this up a little bit. It says making a move, careful strategy in it to win it, taking things seriously and legal matters, court, contract, marriage, divorce, child support. So it could be divorce, it could be marriage, um, but from someone could be dealing with like a disgruntled baby mama or baby daddy as well, okay, who's very insecure about your guys' connection. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting that. Um, someone could be going through this divorce or during this separation, they're just very insecure, but they feel like now they need to make their move before they lose you forever. What's twin flame for Scorpio? And don't worry, we'll lay some more. Oh, secret affair, lust, not love, non-exclusive friends with benefits. So Spirit's clearly saying that this person isn't a twin flame or that they're trying to separate you and your twin flame with lust. And confidence, divine feminine, boss, stable, richest, successful woman. 
Um, someone also sees that you have a strong divine feminine in your life at this time, Scorpio, or you could be this divine feminine. And someone's trying to pull your twin flame with sexuality and friends with benefits, or this again could be you. Um, that's not working. Their strategy is definitely not working. You're protecting yourself and you're not opening up to people that are acting a damn fool. Yep. We got moving on, finality, dead end, transformation, choosing to walk away. Notice how the skull is signifying death, right? Actually, I just want to, I'll, I will clarify those separately. And then we have cracking open, breaking point, close to giving in, under pressure, and two-faced, double life, can't be trusted, hiding their true self. So yeah, this could be someone that had a family that wanted sexual encounters with you, lustful desires and chemistry, okay? And no, because this person is confused. They are conflicted and they, they're having a hard time figuring out things in their life at this time. So again, this could be your situation or this person's trying to have a relationship with you even though they're already connected. But you have victory, success, trophy partner, jackpot winning, wanting to conquer with twin flames, transform, transformative love, mirror souls, intense soul connection. And replaying events, overthinking. So you're not. You're not thinking about this person. You're going toward your true twin flame. And I feel like someone doesn't like that they were this energy when you were with them. And they see that it's over now. And that you have found your power player in all this. Mm -hmm. Or the person you want to do power plays with. Tell me about great source of power for Scorpio this week. Something big and beautiful is coming, I feel. It says, Wheel of Karma, Consequences, Bad Choices, Karmic Lessons, and Self-Centered, Fragile Ego, Selfish Intentions, Easily Angered, and In It for the Money, Union of Convenience, Superficial Love, Transactional Love, Travel, Vacation, Getaway, Anger, Bitterness. So someone is just mad. Yeah, because you're in tune, Scorpio. Look. In tune, balance, cooperation, peace, and harmony with... Under a spell, manifesting in the works, energies are aligned. Anger, bitter. So if someone tried that on you, it didn't work, and now they're bitter because you're still getting what you want. Some of you are maybe even traveling soon. And it's making this person mad that they were self-centered and let their ego drive them and that they made bad choices. And they're learning a lot of karmic lessons at this time. Strong Leo coming through here. And I feel like this person knows that they were just in it for money. You know, or they could be trying to say this about you. And the more that they do, the more that the wheel spins against them and gives them bad karma. Damn. I call it jealousy, you know, because your future focus, someone wants to be mad because you're building a family or a home with someone because you're a boss. Like, come on. What's going on here for Scorpio? Distance, separation, needing space, avoiding and pushing away. Yeah, good for you. You're protecting your energy and your family. If you have one. Look at this. Glow up, self-love, a new you, a positive, big change, and hot and cold mixed signals on and off mind games. Yeah, I told you, someone's going to try to play mind games, and it's not going to work on Scorpio, period. And then it says, new love, renewal of love, a new beginning, and death of the old ways. Unfazed, don't care. Look at this shit. Look at this. Unfazed, don't care, not affected, no influences, detached. So this is amazing. This is what I want for all of you guys. New love or renewal of love without being affected by people. And it says, high priestess, inner knowing, secrets, mystery, listening to your intuition and rekindling the spark. What? That's nuts. It says, reconciliation, making amends, second chances. So again, this could be rekindling a flame in a marriage, a connection, um, finding new love, but you're making boss moves and people are like, oh, that's just because they have money and this and that, or they get to travel. These are bitter, bitter buddies is what I'm hearing. All right. So don't even worry about that. Let's get to the tarot. All right, my loves, let's see. I was also seeing too, that there could be like a divorce you're going through. And now that you're like glowing up and finding new love, this person's bitter, but again, who cares, right? <laughs> As long as you're happy, Scorpio, that's all I care about. So let's see what you guys need to know this week, especially with the full moon coming. What does Scorpio need to know this week? Oh, wow. Someone here. You're going to see someone trip up. Oh, an Aries. This is kind of like the other reading. I'm not even trying to come after you, Aries, but 
there is something about them having bad judgment against the empress okay which i feel is scorpio clearly here we have the empress judgment and this player playette trying to come into your energy or be nosy because they want to take action and they are falling off right in front of you mm. someone's also like drowning in their emotions for you scorpio and they want to say something but they don't know how to say it who's coming towards scorpio oh wow why do i feel like this is reversed and the hermit they see you though it's like they know you're in this beautiful energy at this time you got the wheel of fortune and they are sad because you found someone that will commit to you and they're blocked at this time especially from watching you and stalking you things like that it's like they want to come in with an offer but they can't especially during leo season they're being blocked big time okay whatever is sent out will be sent back because they thought they could create some kind of blind justice with their sexy tactics. Mm. No. Virgo, Taurus, Aries so far. What's crowning? The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. A missed opportunity. Capricorn energy. In the central we have the sun. Good health, good news. For Scorpios even at the bottom it's at the bottom too Scorpio it's like you beat some kind of karmic energy around you you're healing at this time and this emperor is big mad maybe they were expecting some kind of apology this could be an old boss um Aries um maybe a father figure here but yeah this person was immature they're getting bounced off their high horse Strong Leo coming through there too. And the foundation. Yeah, this King of Wands in the reverse. Like they know they were doing way too much. Or too many people should. This is just like vicious impulsive energy. I don't like it. And it's like ugh, demanding too. This person thinks they can have whatever they want. But they're going to get tripped up here with this Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Because they're not balanced. They're being foolish and immature. They're procrastinating. And they see your light. They see you shining bright, Scorpio. And it's like, this is maybe what they were hoping for. But they see you now as this empress who can tame anything and that you're in hermit mode. And there are too. I think they're trying to figure out what to do, but there is no justice to be served for this person. When it comes to the connection they could have had with you, it's time for you to go towards new love. What's the outcome? Huh. <laughs> The High Priestess, the High Priestess, Divine Energy with the Devil, whoa, dang, whoa, 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 oh boy, this is crazy, y'all, you don't do reversals with these because they already come in the reverse, so I gotta show you what, what's going on here. Your angels are not playing about this either. There's someone who's very vain comparing themselves to you. Okay, because I'm kind of seeing you like this, Queen of Cups. Like, you're focused on yourself, love. What needs to be done? There's someone here that wants to talk that shit. Okay, they think that they can come in, do and say however they please. They're getting impatient. They're very unpredictable. And again, comparing themselves. Okay, maybe even try to do beauty spells. But I just feel like they were maybe trying to copy your energy. And your angels are like, all right, keep it up. You're in balance. So the more this person watches you, the more they try to gain information on you, the more that the wheel is cracking for them. Okay. And it's not going to be a secret to you that or these people that you found love or new love. Okay. That you've transformed. It's not a secret. And notice how the moon is looking a lot like the sun, which is in the center of the reading. So you're coming out of like a dark time. And then we have the chariot upright with the tower. So it's like maybe you know it's time for a change or a big move or whatever this divine intervention was that was maybe came into your life during cancer season is ending now so that you can have this beautiful new beginning so that you can step into this high priestess energy and you've literally beat the devil. You're always beating the devil. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Leo season definitely worked in your favor and things are going to move quickly in this love, but you're also ending a lot of situations in your life where people were trying to take your crown. That's what I feel here. And look at it. 
Mm -hmm. They're nosy. They're too nosy, Scorpio. And they're hoes. Like, what? Why? You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Hoes don't act right. <laughs> That's what I always tell y'all. So let's see here. Lots of fire coming through the readings today. Wow. Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. They're like, how did this happen for Scorpio? But I feel like you're learning something new and you're going to take it and apply it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something about you proceeding with caution because you knew that this person was immature. Mm-hmm. Let's see. The sun in the reverse. The ten of swords in the reverse. Oh, my goodness. It's like someone was is unhappy and trying to stall you. Strong Aries. Leo. And too many concerns with sexual matters here with the bunny. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It's like you're in this energy. Right. And we still have the Fool in the reverse. I would say watch out for this person. They want to try to create drama in your life or for your work. Okay. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Swords. They want to come in abruptly. They know they can't defend themselves anymore. Whoever this person is that was trying to send maybe um, attacks or gossiping about you, trying to take action or get people on board. But you're gaining enlightenment. I literally see you going through a transformative phase at this time. Getting in touch with God and your ancestors. Mm-hmm. I sure do. And some of you could be um, thinking about birthing something new. But these people aren't happy for you. But remember, with the sun card in the reverse, it's still good. So you have nothing to worry about. It's just that they're telling you that these people have unhealthy attachments to you or persons. And then we get the Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating soon. You're going to be happy. Very happy. Look at the bottom. Ace of Cups. I do feel like this is new love. You could be meeting this person very soon here. But yeah, there was someone that was unstable in your life. They could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or um, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this person needs to complete their cycles. They're not um, stable at all. They're losing a lot. Period. And you've turned your back. You've had to turn your back on these people, Scorpio. And look at the two doves in the back. I never paid attention. So I feel like you're praying, you're manifesting, and this is the kind of love you're creating in your life right now. A power couple. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this person that can see that Scorpio is an empress or emperor at this time or wants to be their empress. What is this? The Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. So... They know that you've let them go and that you're healing and it makes them very upset. Okay, they're getting impatient now and they're unpredictable. What else? Yeah, they see you going towards family, commitment, growth in your finances and that you've emotionally removed yourself from this. Yep. And I feel like it is because this person did lie to you in the past. We have the Ten of Cups, Six of Cups with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So they might even try to lie to create some kind of drama for your emotional stability and it's not going to work mm-hmm it's just not and then i saw the devil in the reverse with the empress in the reverse so this could be a capricorn a taurus or again someone's karmic old karmic attachment ex-wife or husband what's the outcome for this person what are they what do they want with scorpio the seven of pentacles they see your glow up they see your growth and i feel like this person doesn't have much they're they're holding a lot of burdens right now they're in denial they don't have success and it's because of how many times they've tried to create drama for you. And I'm noticing the band around this fire sign's head like they're losing their mind. They might need to seek mental help. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see Scorpio having a good week, a really good week, especially with the by the full moon. I see you celebrating, maybe getting together and maybe someone's watching you but they know they can't say anything. Like people are tired of hearing this person talk about you or whatever. It's like clearly Scorpio doesn't want to have anything to do with you, Three of Swords in the reverse. They're, look at that crown. You know what I'm saying? Like they, people are seeing the proof in the pudding, period. And this person's just starting to look dumb. What's the Page of Pentacles in the reverse?
What is this page of pentacles in the reverse? Judgment in the reverse. The king of pentacles and the chariot. At the bottom, we have the six of cups in the reverse. So someone that doesn't want to let go of childish things, strong Capricorn here, who has bad judgment. <clears throat> or they might have even tried to say that you had bad judgment, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. And they keep it to themselves. But yeah, this is like gossip in between a couple of people here that they're keeping to themselves about how they're not happy or they don't think you're happy where you are um, and that you don't have good judgment. But they're losing opportunities because of that and they're forced to see you as this king or queen of pentacles or that's what you're receiving is real commitment and they're being pushed out with the chariot here. Mm -hmm. Look at them looking back like, oh shit. Yeah, because people see that you were lying. Like, damn. <laughs> Now they have lack of direction. That's all I'm feeling. Even though the chariot's in the upright, I also feel that you could have completed a cycle during cancer season. What's the sun? The page of pentacles upright, death, and the moon. People are shocked about your growth, but there is this nasty king and queen of wands in the reverse that I feel like they've missed an opportunity when it comes to their own growth and their manifestations because they didn't make a decision. And whatever attacks they were sending out weren't working. Like I said, they weren't successful because you are the emperor or the empress. Mm -hmm. And they are confused. So you cord cut as well, I feel. And this did this did really well for you. Okay, it created new opportunities. It may have even brought you closer to your twin flame. Mm -hmm. You also weren't going to deal with someone who was immature and not giving you much. All right. So again, by the full moon, there's going to be some really good news and a clearing of energy for you. Wow. I love it. Scorpio. I'm getting good health too. But yeah, there's some hoes out here. There's some hoes in this house. I'm getting that someone could have even tried to have sex for money. And that didn't work out. This could even be, this could be like a mistress, a wannabe mistress, and no one wants the mistress because she's dirty. Yeah, you're going towards commitment. Your higher self is calling you, Scorpio. I'm so proud of you. I'm also getting that someone had to like downgrade after you, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, what's the King of Wands in the reverse? Oh, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. The Six of Swords. And the Four of Wands. You're moving on. The wheel is spinning in your favor. For some of you, this could be a new home. All right, look at that. Pointing at the home, and then we get the four of wands. You're moving. Some of you are like physically moving away, like for good. You're finding a new location, or you're, maybe you're traveling here. But let's see. This person's not wanting to let you go at all, okay? They're very greedy. They're, they think they can control everything. They're very materialistic, and that's why they don't get the wheel of fortune that's why they don't get the four of wands they don't know how to mentally move on and something big is happening for you in the fall as well with these leaves but i just feel like it's a it's a significant card saying that this is scorpio because that's when around the time our birthdays are and it's like you're going out you're having fun you're pursuing what you want you're celebrating with family friends or a lover and this was meant to be yours this is yours yeah, and people are stuck in their head about this. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aries, Leo, Sag is what I'm getting about your new beginning. Someone can't get over it. They can't stop watching. They can't stop talking about it. I'm noticing the bird on the top of the sword. Yep, that you're this empress and that I feel like you've released their childish energy. You've gone towards new things. They didn't give you the ton of cups, so you had to go. What's the high priestess with the devil? It's like you knew this person was still attached to unhealthy things. Mm -hmm. What's the high priestess with the devil? The seven of cups, the knight of cups in the reverse, and the five of wands. Exactly. And this is what you were after, Scorpio. The ten of cups upright. So you could see that this person may have had many suitors fighting over them, or they just <clears throat> were conflicted. Okay. They like competition around them, and then... I feel like they like to emotionally confuse people and make them feel stuck because they love attention. And you're not about that. Your intuition told you like, no, we ain't doing that today. 
I'm not joining your pot of bitches. <laughs> Where do I get this from? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, and they're like overly watching you now. For some, it could be a Sagittarius, but I just feel like your angels are keeping an eye on these bitches. Look. Mm -hmm. They're like, you better get back with that shit. Quit watching Scorpio so much. Like, what's the matter with you? All this de deceit and resentment towards your energy is unhealthy. Yeah, they're about to lose it and their wish fulfillment. Yep, that's what I'm getting over your new beginning. All right, let's see what the advice is for Scorpio. We already know we have initial spark. There's potential in a person or a situation to develop into something more in the future. With, can't escape your shadow self. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will continue to direct your life. So you are releasing a lot, again, with this full moon, celebration, happiness. Path to mastery. You're stepping into a new expanded consciousness. That will you will soon master sorry i'm still tired you guys the call of the void there is a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled all you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly so there's a lot of things from your shadow side that need to be healed as well in order for you to fully activate your heart chakra towards new love and then we have build bridges not walls everything you want is waiting for you on the other side of the walls you built let your guard down and let life in Maybe you are traveling and I'm noticing three people here at night. And then we have something just isn't right. Trust your intuition and keep seeking for more answers until your situation feels right. And you, you got that right here. You knew something was off. You knew people were trying to create conflicts for you and you're moving on. I want to put one more on that. It's like, you know, to build these walls when people are acting crazy. That's what I feel, but let's do two more. Karmic vibrations. Conquer your karmic relationships and allow them to teach you so that you don't repeat the same mistakes again. And divine masculine. There's excessive masculine energy that needs to be balanced in order to feel harmonious in life. Take a step back and find a more feminine approach. All right, so that's what it is. The thing that's not right is this overly masculine energy. And you're opening yourself up. And it does have something to do with a karmic masculine here that's trying to project energy that maybe you did build a wall around in the past. And I feel like that was for your highest good so that you could start following your path to mastery and the call of the void because you knew that you couldn't escape your shadow side or these feelings and that they needed to be evaluated, not swept under the rug. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm seeing for my Scorpios. What else do y'all need to know? Let's use this deck. This is what I used in the last reading. What's coming up for Scorpios in love this week? What do they need to know? Explosive love, troubled relationship, explosive situation, lots of disagreements, bad combination, delusions, things are not as they seem, wishful thinking, escape from reality, wedding arch, getting married, wedding celebration, your life partner, yes, they are the one, and prosperity, financial blessings, creating prosperity, dreams into reality, new opportunities. So this is a part of your contract, okay? Maybe there was this explosive love that needed to end and it was a delusion so that you could go towards your real commitment in life and have this power couple dynamic. It says binding agreements, legal matters, fulfilling your soul contract and committing to something. And someone is getting a taste of their own medicine here. It says things aren't going as planned, difficulty in life, manifestation blocks, losing home, karma, karma bites back, a karmic cycle, unpleasant events, suffering the consequences. So these people that were trying to make you unstable or breadcrumb you and swinging on and off in relationships are realizing that you're walking through a divine portal to your higher self. Whoa, some of you could even be moving overseas. Ooh, that's exciting. Whatever this is, it's a big celebration and there's someone that's upset about it, but we don't care. They've missed the opportunities in their life. They can try again with someone else. What else does Scorpio need to know? Again, the contract is coming up. That you are stable, love brings true stability, loyalty, trust, safety, creating a legacy together, a family tree. The T, gossip, learning the truth, having a reputation, moving in silence. 
and knowledge, learning lessons, expanding awareness, insights on love, and wanting to learn. Good for you, Scorpio. So people are just gossiping about you, hoping it's going to make you unstable, and it's not. And then we got the perfect pair. Very compatible, harmonious relationship, unconditional love, doing everything together. And I'm leaving that there. Now, what do we want to look at over here? What is next for Scorpio's love life spirit? What deck should I use? Here we go. Okay, maybe y'all were a witch in a past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they've been waiting for, the witch. They see how powerful and magic you are and sometimes wonder if you have them under a love spell. But Spirit's kind of saying it to me like, you were a witch in your past life. Okay? Ooh, Scorpio. Mm. Or you just have that kind of power, like, you know, shaman, healer. All right, what's coming up for Scorpio? What do they need to know about how this person's feeling towards them? Regret. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. The gods favor you. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. You guys know this is my favorite card. And then we have Taming the Beast. You make them putty in your hands, which we saw with this Empress. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. I know that's right. Don't even try it. Divine Blueprint. They're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and the connection. At last, they don't want you to give up now when you come this far because it'll all be worth it in the end. And broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. I feel like that's something you weren't waiting for. Okay. And that you're finding what you really want at this time, Scorpio. I do. I do. And then we have losing battle, taking aim, and the gossip. So whatever they were trying to gossip about or attack you with definitely didn't work. This person lost the battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Now they got to step into reality. And then they want to resurrect the damn connection. And they're wishing upon a star for you. This is crazy. Let's see what this person wants to say to you, Scorpio. What would this person say to Scorpio? What's their hidden truth? What is this hidden truth? And this is from your guides. They're saying, don't give up on love now. We favor what you just accomplished, what you're doing, and real love is coming your way. Don't trust this person who's broken, who thinks that they can play games with you. So what is this person's hidden truth? It says, I've watched love readings on YouTube. I have an addiction and I've spiraled. I can't let you see me like this. That's so sad. And I get nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose. I want to make you my wife or husband. Oh, my Lord. What a combination. Okay. So, that's what that person wants to say to you, Scorpio. Let's get a couple more because that was too much. <laughs> what else? <sighs> it says, I want, I want to love me the way that you love me. I'm trying. I don't like being kicked while I'm down. Stop bringing up the same things over and over. And I'm emotionally unavailable, which we saw. So, you know, this person just needs to grow up is what I'm getting here. They keep wanting to point the finger at Scorpio, it sounds like, for their addictions, for their problems, especially if you are a reader and they know about YouTube. They're using that as an excuse, making everything about them when it's not. And it's time to grow up. It's time for the shit show to end, you know. And I feel like they think the world revolves around them or something. And it definitely doesn't, you know. That's why people like that got to go. And you find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It was some kind of lesson in all of it for Scorpio and this person who thought that they could play some kind of game here, which they can't anymore. They've lost. Woo! All right, let's get some love oracles for Scorpio. Let's see what you got your person over here. What the heck is going on? Let's look for Scorpios. Scorpios in between what's happening here. Let's do one more for Scorpios. Dang it. All right. So you've got weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, which you have because you didn't want to fall off the damn cliff into someone's bullshit. And then we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I feel like you guys are getting really close to God right now. 
And then this person has got forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life's too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So the projection that they're trying to create is going away. And it says, yep, yeah, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. They're seeing that you're moving on, so they need to move on. Then we've got emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, which you have, Scorpio. You've been working on your shadow side and you're clearing your energy with embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And then we have life is a series of constantly sh shifting cycles when we resist change. We resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. So you've cut, you've, I feel like you've cord cut. You're going to be surprised that this is creating new stability. You're going to become this like boss of something. I'm telling you. I don't know if you own like your own business, corporation, but you've been listening to your intuition. You have a higher knowing. You've got this new beginning coming. Mm-hmm. And I'm just getting like all the, look at all the sparks behind this couple. It's like, this was meant to be. You're going to know. You and this person will be the perfect pair. Oh, Scorpio, it's so sweet. Let's roll the dice. I'm bored. For fun. Scorpio. Let's come make the Scorpio with the full moon. Oh, wow. We got blocks being removed. Let's put these down here. Actually, we'll put them right here. We got love. We got things coming to an end. We got the messenger coming in to the female energy about a new beginning with the star here about healing, balance. I also feel like someone was blocking your love life and that's over. There was a sneaky messenger that's ending and you're being shown the way. There's a new direction for you to go in. Yep. I'm also reading the side of the dice. This is really good for you, Scorpio. I really get that. You're also going to feel like this new power within you. You're going to feel like you're, you're very clear about what you want. And maybe you aren't focused on love at this time. But there's also some kind of knowledge that's been passed down to you over time. Continuously. That's protected you from things like this. And you've unlocked something. Mm-hmm. And it's really beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to read your guys' comments. I hope you enjoyed this. Let's go over to all sides and see how they're feeling towards you. First, we'll see what they don't want you to know. And then we'll see what their feelings are towards you, Scorpio. Okay? You see how my um, computer tried to unpause itself against my will while I was cleaning up? <laughs> I'm like, let's get this reading going. It's been seven days. All right. All right. Scorpio dealing with an Aries. Their secrets are glow up, major transformation, drastic changes, self-improvement. So an Aries is watching your glow up and their feelings are freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. But I feel like that's you away from them. Leo is Bonnie and Clyde, ride or die, us against the world, dedicated partnership with, hard to read, you confuse me, you give me mixed signals. So this is you or them, where you feel like you could have it, but you're hard to read, or they are. Scorpio and a Sag, power couple, ambitious partnership, making boss moves, building a relationship with, overthinking, I'm driving myself crazy, thoughts of you keep consuming me. Scorpio and Aquarius, we have shattered, broken, destruction, beyond repair, and no escape. It doesn't matter how far I run. My heart always runs back to you. Libra and Scorpio, we have fed up over it, not having it, frustrated with missing you. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. So I get that Libra, like, drove you crazy. They talk too much or something. Um, Scorpio and Gemini, we have adulting, mature efforts, being responsible, keeping in check, and undecided honestly i don't know what i want not sure if i want a relationship so they're not adulting they're pretending and you're adulting scorpio and capricorn we have cuffed off the market committed relationship inaccessible with stalking i often check your social media to see what you're up to so you got a capricorn stalking you because you're off the market 
Taurus has got bossing up, self-improvement, independent living, leading the pack. They see you doing what you need to do with breaking point. I'm reaching my breaking point and I feel pushed to make a decision. Virgo, snack, sexual appeal, physical attraction, irresistible desire with escapism. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. Damn. Okay, well, I'm sorry if you're dealing with a Virgo. Very sexual energy. Reading up, Cancer, doing the research, learning more, gaining insight with regret. I regret walking away. I wish I know then what I know now. Oh, so they read up too late. <laughs> okay. Scorpio and Pisces, we have knocked up, pregnancy, baby on the way, expecting with friend support. I've been seeking my friend's advice about our relationship. Whoa, that's a lot. Scorpio and Scorpio, we have spiritually woke. Self-awareness, cutting through illusions, and detaching from the ego with, oh, so this demon's mad and triggered, you're moving on. I do things to trigger you, it's the only way I know you care, but you're unfazed, Scorpio. You don't do that. Mm -mm. You're spiritually woke. Let's see what everyone's getting at the bottom of the deck. It says, online dating, a few love interests online, nothing serious, just casual flirting, silent moves, I'm making moves in silence, don't want anyone to ruin my plans, and worried, I'm worried it might be too late to make things right between us with commitment, and work, and double life, with divorce in the reverse. So someone could have been lying and gossiping that they were going to get a divorce, or that you were, and that was a lie. It says, I'm living a double life, I'm a different person in each, I've been keeping myself busy with work and improving my finances, and when I think about my future, I see you, Scorpio. All right, I'm scared to look at this one shit. So it's got receipts, evidence, guilty as charged, exposed. So you're going to find out that someone does have, you know, multiple love interests and you dodged a bullet there. Throwing hands, disagreements, hostility, animosity, conflict, and fighting. So yeah, it's like they've been trying to create drama behind the scenes, but they can't. And then we got setback, facing a loss, off track and delays. So anybody who was trying to mess with you is off. They're done. Spirit is knocking them off. All right, let's see what's going on here. We got honeymoon, bless up, petty. Yeah, someone is watching you like too much. It says love on the brain, talking often, feeling all the feels. I feel like this is where you're going. And then we have appreciation, gratitude for blessings and receiving blessings. And look at this person who's immature, small minded and insignificant with feeling wrong because they're bitter, dramatic, and jealous. Like, get the fuck out of here. Who are these people? What do they want? But don't worry about it, my loves, okay? I really do feel like there's a big-ass blessing coming to you. Spirit's making it clear that it was good for you to get away from these people who wanted to bring you down, okay? And you're going to be celebrating with the right people this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I love, love, love you. Bye.